Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can export data from Power BI Desktop. My name is Mitchell Pearson and I know what you're thinking. Mitchell, you've already done a video on this before and I have. I did a video on this back in 2018 and it has thousands of views. But that was using a different method than the one I'm going to show you today. That was using R integration in Power BI. Very popular method. People loved it. People went nuts over it, but it wasn't for everybody, right? Because not everybody can install R on their machine. And so as the title already has given away, no surprise to you, we're going to be taking a look at today how we can connect to DAX Studio and export our data from Power BI Desktop using DAX Studio. So I'm going to walk you through a demo of exactly how we can accomplish that and how we can get that done. This is a super slick solution. And if I remember correctly, I think this is the first video that I'm doing that actually highlights DAX Studio, which is kind of odd because I use DAX Studio all the time in my day-to-day -day job. It is a wonderful tool, lots of functionality, and you're going to see it making a guest appearance, uh, a guest appearance in many more of my videos going forward. So we're going to be doing stuff like performance tuning, looking at the storage engine, looking at storage. We're going to look at a lot of cool stuff like that in future videos. So stay tuned. We'll be learning that as we go. But today we're going to jump right in. Now, what I've done here is I'm showing you that I have an empty folder. And in that empty folder, we're going to write the data that's in our Power BI desktop through DAX Studio directly to that folder. So let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at how this is done. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is launch DAX Studio. So let me go ahead and pull that over here into the screen. And once DAX Studio is opened up, normally what happens is it prompts you to go ahead and log in or connect to a data model that you have, whether that's a tabular model or Power BI desktop. Today, what I've done is I went ahead and canceled out of that screen so I could slide it over here to this monitor. And I'm going to tell it right here that I want to connect. So I'll click on connect. And then you'll notice by default it tries to connect to a tabular server. What we're going to do instead is connect to our Power BI desktop report, which is called export data via DAX Studio. We'll click right there and then click on connect. Now once we connect, we're going to go and this is actually a really simple process. So before we dive right in, well actually let's go ahead and output it and then we'll go into the options afterwards and I'll tell you and show you how we can change some of those options so that you know maybe you can do comma delimited or tab delimited or you know whatever delimited method that you choose but the first thing that I'm going to tell it here is that we want to output the results of our query to a file all right so we've told it we want to output the results to a file now we haven't written any query here right we haven't done anything uh, and once again, like I said, in future videos, I'm definitely going to go through the process of highlighting DAX Studio, how you can write queries, how you can take queries that are being run in Power BI Desktop, pull them in here, diagnose those, and maybe even figure out ways to improve performance. But today, all I'm going to do is type in one word here, evaluate, and then I'm just going to drag over the table that I want to write the, you know, the table of data that I want to write to a file. And so I could use world data here. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and grab the country and bring that over as well. Either one is fine. And then when I click on run, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the file explorer here and ask me where I want to save that file because I'm telling it I don't want to output the file necessarily in the grid in DAX Studio. I've told it that I very explicitly want to save this as a file. So we're going to go ahead and call this our country data. And we will click save. And there we go. You'll notice instantly this is a very small file. There's not a lot of data, four kilobytes. And we did that at 8.04 p.m. It was instantly done. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is awesome. And I haven't done any performance tests yet. So maybe that's a video I need to do in the future where I take a look at a very large table here, a very large table using the other method with R, uh, have a little showdown and see which, which one works best. Now, we're not done because we need to go take a look at the options, right? What are the different options? This one is, if we open this up, is a tab delimited file, I believe, right? But if you go over to file, up here across the top, and we go down to options here, under options, there is a section right here, right in this pane, where we can change the delimited format, right? So we have CSV delimiter, we have comma, tab, other, quote string fields this is where you can go to change some of those formatting options that are available when you export it 
What I like about this method here is that it's just really clean, right? Most people are gonna be able to get their company, convince their company to go ahead and install DAC Studio. If you're doing a lot of work with Power BI, you probably already know, it's a pretty relevant tool. Uh, one of my other videos, there's another tool by the SQL BI guys, right? Called Tabular Editor. I just did a video last week on calculation groups with the Tabular Editor. And this time we're now highlighting another one of their tools called DAC Studio. And we're gonna be doing this again and again as we progress through future videos, but future videos are gonna be longer than this. This was a quick tip. This was a quick video. That's all I got for you today. Have a good rest of your day, good rest of your week, weekend, whatever it is. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.